chapters going into the elect, yep. and even the elect woman, even John wrote about that. Beloved, Beloved in the truth, the elect lady with her children. Beloved in the truth. See, because children are going to be born, and certain of the elect are children at this time. Yep. Okay? And this is talking about those that deny this truth, mm. what's going to befall them and their children. Because the Lord even said, since you have uh, broken my laws, I shall forgive you as a priest unto me and your children. Yep. Hey, that should put fear into y'all that were in the truth and that left. Y'all that have families, that have kids. True. Shit. Ooh, what? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hey, you know what? It's crazy. Um, Going into the Avatar last airbender again, even though uh, the Philo was, was wicked as hell, Sozin, right? Uh, I remember when Roku was dying, he's like, help, please. That's how the two thirds gonna be to us. And we gonna be like my man, uh, uh, Sozin. He said, like, without you, my plans are suddenly possible. I have a vision for the future, man. The way we have a vision for the future. Without you, our plans are suddenly possible, man. Because you two thirds is holding That's right. back progress. Man. Seen the newest thing that these niggas are into, bro. It's called uh the devious lick challenge, man. The, and these, the devious. devious lick challenge. It's niggas in high school that's stealing shit in 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 a school, like like uh like toilet paper dispensers. They stealing <laughs> uh uh sinks, bathroom stalls and shit, bro. And, and these niggas are stupid because you're gonna need those things in these troubled times. You don't need the, the goddamn sink, you gonna wish the water was on, you don't need the toilet paper and shit, you you stealing and wasting. Shit, man. Hey, that that goes into the scripture the brother just read. Their own imagination is gonna condemn them, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, what they thought was gonna happen. Man. Why, why are you stealing that? Shit? Why? Why is it a challenge to go steal a, hey. a, a prosthetic Ooh. leg from a teacher, man? Hey, I, what? Yeah, that's what they steal. Hey. And they're recording it. Hey, I, thou, thou, thou shall not steal. Thou shall not steal. Can a brother quickly get a uh, wisdom of Solomon four and go to life? Oh man, go ahead. Hey, cause. Hey, this is flood like behavior. This is why the Lord destroyed the world uh, uh, before the flood, man. Because there was, they were only evil continually, and violence was in the earth. Man, that's yep, violence yep, as hell. Yep. Thou shall not steal, man. Yep. Thou shall not bear false witness. Thou shall have no other gods before Yahweh. That's right. And all you people are guilty of that. Man. Yep. The only way you could be cleansed of these sins is by the blood of Amashiach. But he said he already knew who would believe on him and who would not. Yep. And those that believe to everlasting life, and those that believe not, it's yep. already condemned, man. Yep. Go ahead, huh? It says their wives are foolish. Yeah, your wives are foolish as hell. They telling you that them dudes right there is crazy. What the hell are you listening to her for? <laughs> hey, she listened to the serpent, and this is why we're here, man. Listen to your power, man. She's trying to snare you. She's trying to yeah, snare your ass. Hey, but it said that um. Uh, uh, I said a wicked man is, is given in portion to a wicked woman. That's right. And also that um, those that love the Heavenly Father is going to escape from her traps and snares and shit like that. Right. So you niggas that's trapped with your woman, you a wicked ass individual. Yep. Or mother. Or mother. Right? That's right. And their children, wicked. And, and their children, wicked. Yep. The Lord is going to destroy them. Their offspring is cursed. Your offspring is cursed. Go ahead. Hey, what? that's why a nigga can't get his baby out the hospital without him and his woman having uh, an abortion. Wow. Man, there you go. Well, yeah. Wherefore, blessed is the barren that is undefiled. Hey, that's why the Lord warned the women. Hey, uh, blessed the Lord to thee that are with child in those days and get sucked. And then when the women was wailing for the Lord when he was bearing his cross, he said, don't weep for me, weep for yourselves and your children. These be the days of vengeance, as it was during the time of 70 AD. It was going to be worse than that. Oh, yeah. than that. Oh, yeah. Can you get that in Daniel 12? Which had not known the sinful bed. They have not known the sinful bed. See, a lot of you, you sisters out there, you women, maybe you don't have any babies. Maybe you're just a young woman right now that believes that you, you're just scared, but you're listening to the word and it's giving you comfort. Don't worry. And those of you that do have children, stop worrying, man. Right. The Lord is telling you that I got you. Right. Have faith. I, right. I have you. That's right, right. Bro. Now, even if you don't have children, hey, remember Sarah. She had Isaac through promise. Remember uh, uh, Samuel's mother. She had Samuel through promise. Just know that when you do have the children, it's a gift of the Lord. But he's keeping you barren in this time. You're going to thank him. You're going to thank him 
that you didn't have no children. Is it, can a brother hold that in the mind translation, 2nd Edge 16? She shall have fruit in the visitation of souls. She gonna have fruit in the visitation when the Lord returns. Mm -hmm. you go, then you gonna have children and babies. You men that have made yourselves eunuchs for the kingdom of heaven, then you gonna be able to enjoy your children. And, and one of the greatest pleasures, I, one of the greatest pleasures in the man's life is, is a joy over his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. That's right. And we in that time. And blessed is the eunuch which with his hands had brought no iniquity. No iniquity, because why? You made yourself a eunuch for the kingdom of heaven's sake. Doesn't mean you just ain't gonna mess with no woman, but your mind is not geared towards that. Like right. Paul said, those that do have women live as though you don't even have them. Yep. Let's see what I nor imagine wicked things against the, the heavenly father. He ain't imagining wicked things like, man, it's because the heavenly father ain't got nothing, man. Ah, you you crying out to the Lord as if it's his fault you ain't got no woman. Get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> hey, hey, look at David. The Lord's like, man, if you wanted more women, you just had to tell me you would have had it, man. After, he told David that after he went into Bathsheba. Just, just to show you how easy it is for you to have a woman, man. Solomon had a thousand of them. But he didn't ask for that at the first. He asked for wisdom and knowledge to rule over this great people, Israel. That's who you're supposed to, uh, that's what you're supposed to want. Right. That's why you niggas that fell back in the world for your woman, or you fell back in the world for uh, clout, all you niggas that, that have this truth for women, that's not the right spirit to be in, man. The spirit to be in is to preach the gospel and to, uh, uh, and to spread the gospel, man. That's it. That's all you're supposed to do. That's and everything right. else is going to be added yeah. in time, man. Yep. It's the Lord that's keeping these things back from you because you need your mind focused that's on right. what's real. Yep. Yep. He said, seek the kingdom first, yep. and all these things shall be yeah. added yeah. to right. you. Yep. Hey, that's ultimate sympathy. If you've been true for God. women, bro, God. like, God. kill yourself, man. That's, that's right. Kill your goddamn self, <laughs> you know? And that's why wisdom don't want to uh, mess with you, man. Wisdom is that ultimate bad, you know, yeah. bad woman. But it's that attractive. Good woman, that yeah. attractive woman. And she looking at you like, you a bro. You yeah. bro. You bro. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you <laughs> really are bro. Yeah, you bro. spirited and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. You know? She's testing you to see if you really love the Heavenly Father. Like, you don't love, you don't love the Father, man. I gotta lead this guy. That's why I said, um, uh, when a man that has a uh, wisdom is like a stone, and they said he gonna cast it off him ere it be long. Cause that means you casting off wisdom, and then what's gonna happen to you? Death. It's gonna yeah. hit you. Cause without wisdom, you gonna perish, man. Yep. It says uh, money is a defense. What else is a defense? Wisdom. 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 So when the money goes to nothing, what's going to be your defense? Wisdom. Right. And for you that don't have wisdom, you ain't going to, and ye shall not be defended, as the brother read in Sirach, which is the second chapter, yep. because ye believe not. Dang. So belief goes a long way. That's right. Belief is money. Go ahead. Yep. That's That's power. Go ahead. It says, but unto him shall be given the special gift of faith. Oh, the elect. Ooh, the special gift. gift. <laughs> That's Ain't right. Ain't giving everybody. Ain't giving everybody. Go ahead, huh? And an inheritance in the temple of the Lord more acceptable to his mind. And an inheritance in the temple of the Lord. It links um, directly up with revelation that the Lord said, I'm going to give you my new name. And I'm going to make you a pillar in the temple of my power. Yep. Go ahead. And that's forever. Huh? That's right. That temple lasts forever. Go ahead. Glorious is the fruit of good labors. Glorious is the fruit of good labors. And it tells you in another place, it's better for you to have no children and to live your life with virtue. And that's, that's a very powerful thing to know that, damn, I have no seeds in this time, but I know in the world to come, I'm going to have children. Yeah. That takes faith to know that, man. Well, and that even if you do, yeah, even if you do have seed, you're going to know, like, even if I don't see him in physical form, I know that he's going to be with me in the end. That's it. That's hey, right. Abraham, he's going to give up his only son. And it wasn't his only son, but it was his beloved. Love, you see? And he knew, okay, if I, if I sacrifice him, I know the Lord can bring him back from the dead. But the Lord was like, nah, now I see that you believe in me. That's a great faith. Great faith. Go ahead, I... And the root of wisdom shall never fall away. The root of wisdom is going to take root. And it ain't going to never fall away. We taking root with wisdom, man. You ain't, you're going to be unmovable. Go ahead. As for the children of adulterers. As for the children of adulterers, you people that take uh, 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 take part in this Maxine, take part in this world, take part in the, in the MOTB, take part with this devil, 
you have committed adultery against the heavenly father and the spirit and the lord said this was going to befall you but you didn't have that special gift of faith you had you were faithless they shall not come to their perfection they will not come to their perfection can you get that in hebrews 11 go to the last verse and get it in the uh the modern translation as well as the uh, KJ. And the seed of an unrighteous bed shall be rooted out. And the seed of an unrighteous bed is going to be rooted Ooh. out. That's why people losing their children. I did it for my babies. Now they threw them. Yep. See? The Lord is the one that gave you these children. And he's going to take them away from you. Yo, then he's going to take you away. Bro, bro I, at work, this is one particular district like chick. She always talking about her babies, man. My kids, my kids. I, like, I'm thinking, I can't wait to take your kids, man. Hey, and that's yep. what they are, kids. Yep. Uh, uh, sacrificial animals. Yep. They're yep. animals, and I slaughtered them like that. It's for good reason, too, because, like, going back to that whole devious lip thing, it's like they're corrupted already. Like, I mean, niggas were calling themselves still in school buses, all for clout. It once upon a time, Jake used to do crime as a means of survival. Like, he had no choice. Now, you doing it for a like on Instagram. For the gram and for TikTok. Yeah, for, for, for the gram and shit. You you got a fan case now. For just, for what, man? Yeah, you pretty much tell it on yourself. Yeah, eventually, you saw gonna come and get your dumb ass. Yeah. Yeah. They brought they brought they monsters that been brought That wisdom they for real, man. Go to the end of... You recording yourself committing a crime. Yeah. Right? Yep, what type yep. of nigga uh, is you, man? It's on Global New Man. Uh, uh, the principal gave a, uh, an announcement through the school, like, look, y'all causing thousands of dollars worth of damage. This has to stop immediately. This uh, devious lick challenge, man. I mean, and that's, it's a, that's demonic, a deep, man. That's a demonic demon that's sent out into this world <laughs> yep. to destroy and confound Jake. But you yep. niggas have been confounded because the Lord has allowed it. Yep. And you niggas is blind. And you have been blinded by who? The God of this world, Satan. And they wax worse. And you wax and worse and worse. Yep. You seducers and you evil men. Yep. But uh, this is uh, this is what the Lord said through uh, Solomon about you wicked ass niggas, man. Because the, the brothers beautifully going into that challenge is the challenge. <laughs> you challenging the heavenly Damn. Father by doing it. So the Lord gonna destroy your ass. Man. You That's already lost. That's what hey, like like uh, on uh, Space Jam with my man. Uh, Michael Jordan was chained up and he was signing autographs all day long. He's like, you gonna play one on one and you will always lose. Damn, you always gonna lose against the Heavenly Father. You niggas have already lost when you sold out the Lord. You said, let his blood be on us and our children. So now the Lord is getting you back in this generation. Of all the blood from Abel, Zacharias that perished between the altar and the temple is gonna be required in this generation. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4, starting at verse 18. And it reads, They shall see him and despise him, but the Heavenly Father shall laugh them to scorn. Yeah, so they're going to see us, the men of the Lord, and despise us. But the Lord is going to laugh you to scorn. Yep. Go ahead. Ooh. And they shall hereafter be a vile carcass. And you going to hereafter be a dead body. You're going to be Ooh. through it. Yeah. Hey, you got the birds circling. They promised the feast out here. Yeah. Right. Hey, the dead, the good is out here. They know it's coming. See? Yep. Hey, shall not the beast teach thee? The yep. fowls of the heaven, man. They, they letting you know something's coming. Hey, a dude passed by before the camp started and say, hey, man, it's going to be an explosion, man. I don't know if it's going to be grenades or RPG, but it's going to be it's gonna be something, an explosion. So watch out. He said, be careful. I'm man. like, what the hell? Hey, because he knows it's about to be death out here, yeah. man. Yeah, right that time of uh, so-called Halloween. Hey. hey, it's going to get spooky eerie out hey, here, man. It's about to be hollow man out here, man. Huh. Hey, man. Michael Myers. Michael Myers. Yep. Michael. Michael. Michael is coming. He's right. about to stand up. <laughs> Yo. And a reproach among the dead forevermore. And you're going to be a reproach among the dead, among the heathen. They're going to be like, man, like, y'all going to always be known as the ones that went against the Lord in this time. That's why our people are going to be ashamed for a very long time. And they're going to know what they did on the other side, how stupid they were, how, how fucking lost they were, how blind they were, how much they hated the Heavenly Father. But soon he's going to wipe away all tears. They're going to know how great they really were. For he shall rend them and cast them down headlong. Hey, the Lord's going to cast you down headlong before it's all said and done. You're going to know that you made a mistake. 